So you're ready to kill the commute and start working from home as a freelancer. This is how to get started. I've built this 10 step process for you to help you get started as a freelancer working from home. Step number one is to choose about three freelance projects that you like to do. When you're making your choice, think of three or four complementary services that you can offer to your clients. Complementary services could be things like if you want to be a graphic designer, you might also want to consider copywriting as it's quite easy to do. You know, you, all you need is notes and a keyboard in order to be able to do it. Being a copywriter is something you could do right on your phone. Graphic design requires some tools, but putting these things together, they work hand in hand. On top of being a copywriter and a graphic designer, you might want to think about maybe front-end web page design. You know, can you build a Shopify site? They're fairly simple to do when you think about it. You know, you're just adding images to the customizer and adding text to the customizer. So now you have a wide range of services that you can offer a client to build their site from scratch. Step number two is to make a customized pitch for each. So in this case, we're using copywriter, graphic designer, and front-end web designer as our three services. So you want to make a pitch for each one of them. It doesn't have to be that long, each of these pitches. They just have to cover the basics on the problems you're solving for the client and the benefits that they're going to receive from using you. Step number three is to start looking for the job on various search engines or freelance platforms. These could be Upwork or LinkedIn, but there's many ways to find these projects. All you need to use is the search and start finding people that are looking for one of the three services that you have. The greatest thing about this is that once they hire you for one of the services, you can upsell them into the other services. Step number four is to start building your accounts. Build your accounts on Fiverr and Upwork, as well as LinkedIn and Instagram and anywhere else people are looking for your types of work. You don't really need every single platform to be successful. One or two of them will make you quite enough money to live off comfortably. But by having more than one, you're diversifying your portfolio of income. The next step is to add in your projects into the project catalogs of each of these platforms. On LinkedIn, you can add these as features within your profile. On Upwork, there's a the project catalog. On Fiverr, they have a very similar project catalog to Upwork. And on your own website, you can add these as your own specific services and set your pricing and connect them to e-commerce. The next step is to develop a daily system that allows you to have a lot of great cold outreach so that you can start gaining clients. By choosing a certain amount that you want to stick to per day, you're basically going to ensure how quickly or how slowly you start getting new freelance work. If you reach out to one person per day, it might take you quite a few months and even a year to find your first project. But if you commit to doing 30 to 40 per day, you're going to earn income and get your first project much, much faster. I always recommend to do as many as humanly possible. In the beginning, when you don't have a lot of freelance work, I would spend most of my day just looking for the, looking for the projects. But once you start getting freelance work regularly, it's still very important to do outreach every single day to make sure that, you know, if you lose a client or the project finishes up, you have another one lined up. Aside from doing a certain amount of proposals per day and committing to it on a platform like Upwork or like Freelancer, it's important to also reach out and, and apply for jobs, places like Glassdoor, or LinkedIn, or Indeed. A lot of people are looking for freelance workers and you know, you're know you it if you've been able to diversify the types of work you do. So if you've, ch if you've chosen three complementary skills, there's going to be thousands of jobs you could potentially apply for. And making sure that you get one as a foundation for your freelance career is a great way of doing it. It ensures stability and you can get a lot of other flat rate projects from freelance on the side in order to supplement your income. Really, the sky becomes a limit at that point on how much you earn. The next step is you want to build your basic website. This is basically the foundation of what you do. It's the way you prove it to clients that you can do the work yourself and make yourself successful. So I would always just start really simply by building a home page, about page, a portfolio page, and a way to contact you and set up a schedule and appointment. Once your basic website's done, it's time to start thinking about adding e-commerce to this. 
If you go to my website, I've used Shopify in order to list out and commoditize all of my services and allow clients to easily purchase what they need in a certain day. This increases organic traffic by increasing my search engine visibility and is just a great way to show off a price list and just make it really easy for clients to buy from you. The next step is your pitch. You know, when you first get in touch with a client, whether it's cold email or a direct message on LinkedIn, or even a proposal on Upwork, it's important to get the pitch right at the beginning. I would always structure my pitches with an upper, middle, and lower funnel. I've described this in a previous video, which you can check out here. The next step is your profile. This is how clients find you, and it's called inbound marketing. When someone finds you and they contact you to get hired, that's really the holy grail of freelance. When, when clients find you and they reach out, that's really what we're aiming for. And by building all of these pieces and making sure that they're all complete, this is really how we complete the circle of work from home with freelance. I'm Scott Luscombe. This has been the Freelance Shortcut. If you have any questions, I'm always here to help at www.creatively.com.